might know I literally just made one of these videos, but even though that video was like released recently, I had done pretty much the majority of the actual like makeover back in, I think January. So I have been living with this setup for like six months now, like plenty, plenty long enough for me to decide whether or not it's working. And I have come to the conclusion that it is not, it is not working. <laughs> if you saw that last art studio makeover, this setup is still better than it was before. Like the previous setup, this is way more organized and functional, but it's only really functional for one thing. <laughs> Things are really only set up for one thing, and that is for me to sit at my desk and draw while I watch something on my laptop, and that's it. For anything else that I wanna do, there's a whole lot of shuffling that has to take place. For example, for like vlogging, um, but the lighting in my room is really unflattering. So I usually sit on the ground in front of my window and that's really frustrating. So like anytime I just wanna sit and do something really, really quick, it's this whole big ordeal of getting everything set up in front of the window. And it's just, it's not cute, it's not cute. I feel like if I had a permanent setup in front of my window that I could sit at, that would be a lot more useful. I do the podcast very regularly now and my podcast setup is in this corner right here. And to do that, I have to move my cart. I have to take everything off my cart. I put my laptop on my cart. I move the easel out over there and then I put a chair here and then I set up everything in front of me. And it's like this whole ordeal just for the podcast, which I do regularly enough that it's a pain in my butt to have to move everything around. So a permanent podcast setup or at least a less difficult podcast setup would be amazing. And then there's packing orders for my shop. It requires a lot of desk space. So I have to move like my laptop off my desk and I usually move all the stuff off my cart and I put the laptop on the desk so I can see what I'm grabbing because the shopping stuff is right there. And then it's just, it's annoying. Like it's really annoying. <laughs> and then there's my filming setup. I have to do a whole bunch of shuffling just to be able to like film on my desk whether it's during a vlog and I just want kind of a casual angle or if I'm doing top down filming, I have to like move my laptop and it ends up being on like the ground or my bed where it could get broken and I don't like it. So basically everything that I have to do for my job, I can't really do, at least I can't do it easily. And I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> So where last time my main goal was better organization, this time my main goal is more desktop space. I think if I had more space, that would resolve pretty much all of my issues. And that's where today's sponsor, Flexispot, comes in. Flexispot has very kindly sent me a huge desk that I think is going to solve all of my issues. We'll talk a bit more about Flexispot in a minute, but first I need to move the easel out of here and start unpacking this desk so I can get it all set up. all the supplies. I just need to rearrange some stuff. So I think I'm just gonna put the furniture where I want it first. I think.
part of the plan has gone well. These fit underneath the desk really nicely. It fits, you know, in the space nicely. But I thought I would be able to fit the rack between here. Not gonna happen. <laughs> this desk is as far over as it can be for the door to still open. And I don't want the rack to go sideways because it's gonna block a lot of light and just like look weird. I'm gonna try it, but I think what I'm gonna do is put the rack sideways here and move the desk down and see what that looks like. I don't think it'll work because I won't be able to reach the bottom shelves, but I'm gonna try because I don't know what else to do. Before we continue the reorganization, let's take a quick break to talk about today's sponsor, Flexispot. If you've never heard of Flexispot, they're a great company that makes really great ergonomic furniture. They very kindly sent me their E7W desk with a bamboo desktop, which is about 60 by 30 inches. It's huge, and that's not even the biggest size that they offer, which is insane. The E7 desk is such a great option if you're trying to make any sort of work or gaming setup at home. It's insanely sturdy and stable. I leaned my entire weight on it and it barely budged. And because of the dual motor design, it can hold up to like 355 pounds. So you know that your desktop easel or your gaming computer is definitely gonna be safe up there. Even when it's at its max height, it's still super stable and wobble free. And a lot of that is because of the leg design with embedded junction, so basically there's no gap between the leg parts, so there's no wiggling. The height range is from 22.8 to 48.4 inches, so no matter your height, you're gonna be comfortable at this desk. The frame is also extendable and retractable, so this desk will fit in any size space that you have, and it comes with a cable management tray, so it keeps everything very pretty and aesthetic. It also has a keypad that is very user-friendly, very intuitive, and works very smoothly, and it also has a little USB port, which is awesome. Overall, this desk is just so gorgeous, it looks so nice and professional, and it's also great quality that I know will last. If you're interested in getting your own desk, definitely check out the link in the description box and keep in mind that I have a coupon code for $30 off which will also be listed down below. Thanks again to Flexispot and let's get back to the video. Yeah, see this doesn't make a lot of sense. That's not, doesn't really work.
<laughs> okay. I need a new chair. The studio is done. This was a lot less painful than it was last time. Overall, I am super thrilled with how it turned out. I think aesthetically, it's not as nice just because I have so much in one space and this rack isn't quite where I wanted it to be. I feel like it was cuter when like the markers were all on display together, but even though it's not as cute, I think one, it'll grow on me. I always think it's ugly when I first do it and then I end up loving it. But also I think it's gonna be so much more functional, <laughs> so much more functional. I've already packed some orders and having this desk to do it was so amazing. I also tested like vlogging in front of the window with the desk. That turned out really nice, so that's good. I feel like at the end of my organization last time, I basically finished up by saying like, oh, it works better, but I'm sure there will be things that I need to change. Like I could already see the flaws so far, except for the fact that I don't think aesthetically it's that great. I don't really see any major flaws that I like will want to fix down the road. That's not to say that there aren't any and that I won't find some, but so far, like I think it's gonna work really well. So yeah, I'm, I'm really thrilled with it. I think it really opened up my room, especially having the easel out of here. And I think this is just gonna be way more conducive to the current art life that I'm leading. Before we get into like the final like tour, let me answer a few questions. First of all, I plan on doing a like what's on my wall tour very soon. So everything that I have on my walls, I'll be like discussing. <laughs> As for the other furniture, this desk was handmade. Um, this is from Ikea. The marker boxes, that like the racks, um, they were from Michaels, they're discontinued, and that's not even how they came. They only had one like section of the dividers, and my dad had to hand make the others. The cart is from Michaels, and my cube is from Ikea. So I think that should be all the general questions. Okay, so we're gonna start at the desktop. So my main goal for this desktop space was to have like enough space to do things like podcasting so I can set up my camera, my computer, and my mic so I can vlog uh, and have that in natural light. And then also to take advantage of this large space, I wanted to use it for packing shop orders. And especially when I do something really big like a shop launch, I like to have everything spread out in front of me, especially if I'm having someone help me. So I wanted this really, really large, like clear space, <laughs> like to keep this clean so that I can do that whenever I need to. So I have a plant over there. This is like just generic office supplies, like scissors um, that before was over here. I just put it up here because it makes sense. Then I have stock, stickers, business cards, bonus prints, thank you prints I put in here, genius. And then all of my actual prints. I don't plan on doing art on here because I want to keep it clean, but I can totally see myself like coming over here to like game or just like watch YouTube videos just for like a change of scenery and so I can stand and like have a change of pace. Okay, now below the desk. I'm really excited about this. These are two things that I have been trying to take out of my closet for so long and I finally have the space to do that. So I have my really big watercolor paper pad and then I finally, I finally have my tissue paper within reach of all of my other shop stuff. And then I have like pens and paint pen type stuff, like pen and ink. Here I have a pencil and colored pencil and here I have a watercolor and ink and here I have my junk drawer which has like tape and stickers and my Wacom tablet. And then over here is my, well here is Jeremy Renner, in case you were wondering where he went. And then I have some painting boards. And then here is my painting cart and here is acrylic. This is gouache and pads. And then my oils. So this is still really easy to pull out, excuse you, and use when I want to paint. Um, I can bring my easel in here and bring this out. And I still have plenty of floor space to do all of that. Okay, for the rack, up here is extra shipping stuff. I have envelopes and like the glassine bags and then like little envelopes. Before I said that there were no flaws to the setup, th this is actually probably the only flaw. Ideally, this would be either here or down here, but it's not like impossible to reach. It's just not like easy. But when I'm doing a whole bunch of orders at once, it'll be easy to just like pull those down and have in front of me anyways, so not the worst. These two shelves are dedicated to markers. We've got my Copics, easiest to reach, and my Ohus down here, easiest to reach. And then tucked back are markers that I don't reach for as often. And then, wait, can I move this so you can see this better? Ah, oh, that's better, <laughs> okay. So yeah, Ohus, and then like the other markers that I just don't use that often. And then right here is the cup of stuff that I like use like literally every time, like my sketching pencils and my like doodling pens. I kept it in its cup so I could just grab it and bring it over to my desk whenever I wanna do a session. Down here is where the biggest changes are. 
Um, the things that used to be on these two shelves, I literally never touched, like ever. I'm pretty sure it was like extra paper pads and then like canvas and gesso board and like cardboard and stuff. Now I have my old sketchbooks back there. It's pretty, I mean, honestly, this is not, I thought it was gonna be really hard to reach, it's really not. I have this little like paper organizer full of bits and bobs of things to like glue into my sketchbook and like extra cut up paper. And then I have all of my stuff that is currently in use right here, so it's easy to grab. Way in the back, I have some like little watercolor pads, things that I am less likely to grab than this but likely enough that it didn't get exiled to the closet. <laughs> and then all of this stuff is what used to be on top of the cart. So it's just like paintbrushes and my water cup, which I felt a little bad putting all the way down here because it was kind of cute on the cart. And then behind me, I have all of the canvas. Uh, and I actually like it here a lot better. It used to be by the window and it took up like a lot of space there. And I had this like little corner that I wasn't gonna do anything with and I thought it felt really weird. And I think the canvas like fills the space really nicely without filling space. And then my desk. Now all that's left on it is my laptop and my mouse pad, which will get moved over there whenever I need it over there and whenever I wanna paint something big here or something. The last thing that is different that I haven't really talked about, uh, my dad and I finally made this thing to get top down <laughs> angles for my desk here. So we made this little thing that hooks onto my wall and then I attach lights to these things and I attach my camera here and then I have a nice top down angle of my desk. So especially with that, like officially all of my boxes have been checked. I have a way and place to film artwork. When I do wanna do that, I can move my laptop and put it somewhere safe where I can still like see it and watch videos. I have plenty of storage. I have plenty of room to like spread out for things like packing orders. And I'm also going to have a much like cuter backdrop for things like vlogging and podcasting and just like a better overall setup. So honestly, I could not be more thrilled. <laughs> So that is my new studio space. I am so happy with it. I think it's going to be really functional and like solve all of my issues. But of course, you never know what new art supplies you're gonna get or like what new issues will come up. I feel way more optimistic about this setup than I did last time. But like last time, I'm still gonna give myself a few months to really work with the space, see if it works for me, see if there's anything missing. And if it's not working, then you know, I'll do another one of these videos in a few months. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna give this some time, see how it works for me. I'm really excited to see how the podcasting setup works. Um, I'm really excited about that. And I'm really excited to see like what you guys think of it. Last time I asked for a lot of organizational tips and I don't, I honestly don't need that this time. Like I'm feeling pretty good about like what I have going on here. But that being said, let me know if there's anything like you would do differently. If you dislike it, let me know. But also let me know if you do like it so I don't feel bad about myself. <laughs> but yeah, that's the video. I'm going to relish my new desk. I think I might play a video game just so I can like sit up here and, and enjoy having this desk. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I know I had a great time. This was honestly a really fun few days setting this up. And if you did like the video, you know the routine. Like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, give me the deed to your house. You know what to do. Go listen to some music, go on a walk, and go do some art. <laughs>